Good evening, sisters. Today we are all in this online session to learn about killing catechisms for a synodal catechist. So I really thank God for giving this opportunity as well as our general. Uh, in the month of May, we have attended this synodal catechism meeting, and there for the three to four days. They spoke about what is synodal catechism, and just I have jumped down few points here for your understanding. Before starting the session, let us start with a prayer. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brother and Father, we praise you, Lord. We give you thanks and we glorify your holy name, Father. It is good to give thanks to you, dear Lord. As Father, in this evening we have given this wonderful opportunity to reflect and think about how we can get Christ and how can we spread the faith in the people among the small children, youth, and the adults wherever we go on the street. As Father, your Spirit may help us at all times so that through the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, May we all spread your faith among the people all over the world, wherever we go on ministries, by our way of living, as well as by proclaiming the word of God. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, all on as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. May our Mother pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Once again, sisters, good evening to one and all. I welcome you for this online session reflecting on synodal catechesis. What do you mean by catechism? So, before going on to the session, I would like to see what is a catechism. In common usage, a catechism is a text which contains fundamental Christian truths formulated in a clear way so that their understanding and reception are made easier. Sisters, catechism is nothing but we teach many things to our students in the catechism. But, Literally, catechism means nothing but proclaiming the faith to the people in a clear way which has been given by the church. So, in this moment, we also need to learn where it had came from. The word catechism is come from the word catechesis. Catechesis is a Greek word. They use this catechesis in the uh, uh, wherever they proclaim the word of God, the theaters, wherever they preach the word of God, they use these words in the Greek um, name catechesis. It means nothing but proclaim loudly. I mean, proclaiming our faith, proclaiming the doctrines of the church to the people, and also telling them church truths and explaining them how the church has given these things to us. Next, we are going to see about what this catechism is. Catechism indicates the primary duty of a Christian to spread the faith. Catechism is nothing but we most often we use catechism. Catechism is nothing but Catechism is the word that is to spread the Christian faith. Every Christian has a bounded duty to spread the faith. That is nothing but what we have learned. From the childhood we have learned from our family, uh, in the churches, our priests, sisters, and many animators in the church have taken what is 
pain and they have also complained about it. So, catechesis is nothing but spreading the faith. The deeds and the work have to provoke an echo in the mind and in the hearts of the listeners to transform all the of life. Catechesis denotes both the act of instructing and the subject matter of the instruction. Catechesis is nothing but simply not proclaiming our faith what we know, but what the church has given, what the Bible says accurately, we need to proclaim to the people. Through proclaiming, we spread the faith among the people as well as from little children to the adults. Next, Catechism of the Catholic Church gives the four pillars of the Catechism. In the Catechism, we have four pillars. It has been given by the CCC, that is nothing but profession of faith, the celebration of the Christian mystery, life in Christ, and Christian prayer. We all profess our faith, really, in every day, in the rosaries, and also in the church uh, liturgy, we proclaim our faith and we profess our faith as I believe in God, I believe in Jesus Christ, I believe in the Spirit, I believe in the doctrines of the church, I believe in whatever is given in the Bible, I believe we proclaim our faith to the people. And also celebration of the Christian mystery, yes. We also celebrate the celebration of the Christian mystery is nothing but the liturgy, the sacrament of Holy Eucharist. Okay. So, Eucharistic celebration, every Eucharistic celebration, we are what we are doing, the Christian mystery has been celebrated all over the world by all the people. And also life in Christ. Life in Christ is nothing but simply proclaiming the word of God is not simply telling but living it in our life. So, life in Christ means being rooted with the Lord, uh, always pondering his words, reflecting on God's word. So, life in Christ means we have to journey with the Lord. That is the thing here they have pointed out, life in Christ. And Christian prayer. Christian prayer we all know. The prayers we daily we recite, the prayers given by the church, the prayers, the ejaculations, whatever we recite in our day-to-day -day life, the Christian prayer leads us also to grow more in our faith. So, these are the four pillars of the Catechism given by the CCC, is nothing but Catechism of the Catholic Church. And also today, I also need to know what is the need of Catechism? Why do we need Catechism? Nothing but learning the Catechism will set the trajectory for learning more deeply the things of God. This knowledge is deeply intellectual, something very much needed if we are to love God with our minds. But the knowledge is also the stuff of which rich and growing piety is born. So, learning Catechism is not something just simply knowing about God. No, it makes us to go more deeply towards God. What do we learn? From childhood we have learned uh, what is uh, creation, the life of Jesus, and how the God the Father had led the people of Israelites. And so many things we have learned from our childhood to our parents, to the sisters, to the parish animators who had taught catechism. So, so many ways we have learned the catechism. But these things, what it had done, it does not simply went off. It took us more closely to the God. We have found who is God. We have realized who is God. And these things, what we learned, takes us more deeply to the God. And also, not only in the knowledge level we know Jesus, but in the heart also we try to experience the God, the living God who is with us. Next, what is the purpose of Catechism? Catechism, what, what is the purpose? Why they are teaching Catechism? 